Hey guys, uh, I'm here at Oshkosh 2019, Air Venture 2019, with Chris Duell and Badland Aircraft, and he's gonna give us a quick tour of this, this great, beautiful new plane. Thank you to our channel sponsors, Wix Aircraft Supply, Aviation Youth Publication, and Aero Adventure Amphibious Seaplanes. Hey, I'm Chris Duell with Badland Aircraft. We're out here at Oshkosh Air Venture 2019. Uh, we brought our F3 model out here. This Badland is 100% Part 103 legal. Final weight, empty, was 235 pounds. So you got some rooms for little bigger tires, uh, bigger engine if you want. We're going with the Polini Thor 200 on this one. It's 30 horsepower, air-cooled, oil bath reduction. Just a fantastic engine. This one we built, we built right to spec. We took all those measurements from that airframe, put it into SolidWorks, and reworked it, strengthened it, lightened it, just made it better all the way across the board. Now this is what we end up with, a 235 pound, 100% Part 103 legal ultralight. No license required, no endorsements for the tail wheel. You buy it, get a little training, you go flying right out of your backyard. So this is definitely uh, the adventure of a lifetime and uh, the, the way to go to get into aviation for an economical price. This Badland F3 that I'm sitting in here has a Polini Thor 200. It's 200cc, air-cooled, PWK carbureted, 2.8 oil bath gear reduction with a centrifugal clutch. It's a wet clutch, so it's real smooth, it's real quiet. Um, it's got a great power to weight ratio. Um, the Polini Thor 250 adds six more horsepower and is water cooled and gives you a lot better performance. The way this one sits, we have a 400 foot takeoff roll. Climb out is about 40 to 45 miles per hour. We cruise at 55. Top speed is about 62 miles an hour. Um, landing reference, right around 40 miles an hour. Stall speed at 30. Real comfortable, real stable tail wheel. Um, we changed some CGs from the original design of the Kit Fox Light, made a little bit more stable on the tail wheel. Control surfaces, we got push-pull cables on the flapperons. Um, three notches of flaps help you out a lot push pull tube on the elevator and of course just a standard cable on the rudder optional tow brakes uh, you can if the customer chooses to do heel brakes versus the tow brakes you can do that um, but brakes are not required in an ultralight like this landing roll less than 100 feet so this one here is covered with the uh, Oratex UL 600 it's uh, super lightweight it comes pre-painted, no painting at all required. The learning curve, real smooth. The tech support from Oratex is absolutely fantastic. Uh, those guys were with me every step of the way, and uh, final fit and finish on this it just turned out fantastic. Um, before covering this, I just had the legacy system covering experience, and uh, it's so much easier, so much cleaner. 95% of the work is done with a heat gun, and then final once over with an iron just to even things out, and uh, just a fantastic fit and finish. So the wingspan on this F3 is 26 feet. The wings do fold for storage, which makes it super nice. It fits in a standard single car garage. It'll also fit in a standard enclosed car trailer. Uh, this is an eight and a half by 20 foot enclosed trailer behind me, and uh, about 10 minutes a single person can fold the wings and store it. Simple as removing the front spar bolt and also removing the flapperon clevis pin. Both wings fold back and rest against the verticals. Strap together, strap down, you're ready to go down to the down the lake bed, out to the runway, grass strip, wherever you're ready to fly. The base model F1 ultralight kit comes fully welded, powder coated. Wings are pre-built, ready to rig, cover. Flapperons are pre-built has about 150 hour build time. Doesn't include an engine. It does not include a propeller. Uh, we'd like to leave that open for choice. There's so many different engine and options out there available. We recommend Polini. We fly with them. Great power to weight ratios. On a base model kit right now is 100 days. Just a little over three months. You can be building your own ultralight. With either the Polini Thor 200 or the Polini Thor 250, they recommend 98 octane. 
um, 50 to 1 full synthetic mix, two stroke gas and oil, um, or uh, 100 low lead av gas. Um, I mix mine 40 to 1, a little bit richer than normal, I think it's a little safer. And uh, the burn rate is about two, two and a half gallons per hour on uh, both engines that we can recommend from Polini. You can find us on the internet, www.badlandaircraft.com. We're on Instagram, badlandaircraft.com, uh, I mean, at Badland Aircraft. We're on Facebook, at Badland Aircraft. Um, give me a call, 702-234-9931. Um, any questions, any times, shoot me an email, chris at badlandaircraft.com. We're here to help you. Uh, we want to get you flying. We want to get your dreams come true. We want you to have fun. Thank you, Chris, for giving us a tour of your new ultralight. Uh, we were all very excited to see you at AirVenture 2019 this year and looking forward to seeing your business grow and also seeing this new ultralight flying. Hopefully, uh, a lot of orders come in and we get to see a lot of people building these, these ultralights and get them flying. Uh, something I wanted to point out to everybody, again, just a reminder that Chris is, uh, that the Badland aircraft is truly a part 103 legal ultralight. Uh, Chris worked very hard to keep keep the weight down and to be within that uh, weight restriction for part 103. And also, again, to point out that it is a folding wing. In other words, you can trailer this to a location and go flying and take it back home and put it in your garage. Okay, I've got another cool tool for you guys this week. Uh, maybe, maybe I should start a segment called Cool Tools. Anyway. Uh, Wix Aircraft sent me another little tool here, and, and this is called Aim a Squirt. Yeah, aim a Squirt, right? So you plug this in basically to any little spray can of WD-40 or blaster silicone lubricant, and it extends your your reach, if you will, and you can bend around curves and different things to those hard-to-reach places, like in engine compartments or whatnot. Uh, I found this to be very useful and a, a simple yet pretty awesome idea. So. Again, check this out at wixaircraft.com and many other tools for helping you build your aircraft. I want to give you a quick reminder that we also have just started a sister channel called Chasing Aviation here on YouTube. I invite you to check that out. Also on Facebook, if you want to go over there and hit like and follow both on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, Chasing Aviation will be basically capturing our RV life adventures, traveling out to interview people such as yourselves, building aircraft and also manufacturers. So I invite you to check that out. Guys, if this is your first time here, I invite you right now to hit the subscribe button and on this video, hit the like button and also that little bell notification for future videos. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and support this channel. Help me grow this channel to get more people involved in aviation and especially in building experimental light sport and ultralight aircraft. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Call me the Joe.